I Knew It channel and today we're going to be teaching you about how to clean fruits and veggies. Well, when you come out of the store and then into your car and then you got back home, then, then you might be wondering, hmm, how am I able to clean these fruits and vegetables I came back with? Now, probably we have a way how to do it. And for some of you, you might know about some some all natural vegetable cleaners online that 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 you can buy for a pretty penny, but but there is a more easier and more cost effective way. So instead of spending a few dollars and some and some stuff like that, now we have a way about how to make it more better and plus it can be even more better than those weird little products online okay well first you obviously need to wash the fruit of course well by using a running tap so remove all those weird little dirt and and some um, branches and stuff stuck to it and you don't want that kind of thing too and also, you could also, you know, well, separate the weird rotten ones from the others. And take the finest of those fruits. Well, wait, did I say fruit? Yes, it is. Well, did you know that tomatoes are a fruit? Well, probably learn more about tomatoes on my tomato vegetable talk episode and also check out other of my cool and learning episodes of our channel. Multi vegetable chop is probably new kind of of I know channel stuff. Well, probably to clean your little tomatoes, well you can use three different things. You can use a rock salt that's we're gonna be using Oh, you can also use some vinegar to also remove out the dirt. And also, you can use baking soda. So, imagine you could just bake a cake while you wash your fruits that you're going to be using for your cake. Whoa. Well, I guess we could give baking soda the ingredient of the kitchen award. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Next, here, we have all these tomatoes here. And then you need to fill this thing up with water. Until all the tomatoes are nice and submerged. Of course, you get the most of your tomatoes to be washed. And then, next, here's our rock salt. You need to add at least one scoop of rock salt onto the water. One scoop of rock salt. Well, just don't let it sit there. Instead, for the best cleaning, well, you can also mix it to make sure it's also dissolved into the water and the water goes on to the tomatoes. And then, right after that, you can leave it to set for 5 to 10 minutes. So, here are the benefits of the rock salt kind of cleaning for, you know, fruits and veggies. First, is that it's, 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 well, it's time saving. Number two, it's also cost effective too. And then number three, it's also good for removing impurities. And then number four, it's also good for removing out bacteria that might be hanging around on your fruits and veggies. And most of all, number five, it is there to remove the insecticides. Because you don't want to be munching on an apple that that is full of insecticides. Please, don't do that. Unless you might be poisoning yourself. And then, right after five to ten minutes, then you could just already use the fruit by, you know, chopping it up and serving it up for, for your next meal. And also, don't forget to like this video and smash that subscribe button. And click the notification bell so you won't miss our new episodes of I Knew It channel. And bye! Enjoy your fruits!